Brent Tech here, where tech is made simple. So as posted earlier this week, if you wanted to upgrade to Windows 10 version 22H2, this year's feature update, that you could do so right away. And that's because a manual download package, update KB5015684, had become available to upgrade you from Windows 10 21H2, the current stable release to version 22H2, this year's feature update. Although, as I mentioned in the video, that was not the official release. Um, but you could, with, your, with um, caution and at your own risk, download the enablement package, um, which basically that's all the update is. It's just an enablement package with no new features. And um, those um, download links, by the way, still apply and are still working. So I will leave a link uh, in the description to that previous video. Um, and you will find the links um, for that upgrade to 22H2 in the description of that uh, previous video if you would like to upgrade uh, sooner than later and before it becomes available to the general public. Now, um, that was the unofficial rollout of the feature update, but Microsoft now has started to officially roll out version 22H2, but that's not to the general public. It's only to insiders in the release preview channel which they started making available on the 28th of July. And uh, the release preview channel is basically your closest uh, that you'll get the version and build before Microsoft does make it available to the general public, which uh, gives us a very good indication that the uh, official uh, public release is getting closer, which I would guess to be around about the end of September, beginning of October. And um, also um, uh, the release preview channel, in case you did not know, is the only Windows 10 Insider channel in the Windows Insider program. Now, um, the update KB5015878 will take your Windows 10 build from 19044, which is the current uh, stable uh, build, to 19045.1865. And that's if you're uh, an insider in the release preview channel, where as many of you may know, you will just have to go check and seek for the update, which will force the update, and you will then have the option to download the feature update to Windows 10 version 22H2. Now, I personally, um, I'm, I'm going to wait for the official public release, um, although it's very tempting to sign up and quickly join the release preview channel and download the uh, feature update, but I'm going to wait as I just like my working computer to be running the latest stable version. Now, um, uh, the update, um, as mentioned, um, will uh, take you to version 22H2. And that also means that if you are in the uh, release preview channel, you will start to and automatically receive the new servicing updates uh, for Windows update for version 22H2. So that will be your monthly cumulative updates uh, that are rolling out. And um, the uh, change log for Windows 10 build 19045.1865 um, doesn't make any mention of any new features. So as I've mentioned in the past, um, the upgrade from Windows 10 21H2 to version 22H2 is using an enablement package. And that's what Microsoft has been doing with the uh, more recent feature updates for Windows 10, because obviously their attention now has been moved to Windows 11, which is getting all the new feature updates. So the enablement package will basically take you a couple of seconds to install. It'll be a very quick and small update. And once you have upgraded, um, you will see that uh, version 22H2 will basically be identical to version 21H2 as it's just an, a small enablement package that Microsoft uses. And the only difference will be the version and the build number. So thanks for watching and I will see you in the next one.